<laughs> Why is the kitchen in pool called, well, the kitchen? Short answer? It's a colloquial term for this area that, over time, ended up getting adapted into the general terminology for the game. Another example of this that you might have heard of is the term gridiron. You might know it as a term used to describe American football. It's still used today, despite the fact that this grid system on which the term is based no longer exists. It's a similar story with kitchen. Long answer? Well, we have to look back to the 19th century and what homes were like back then. Because if you imagine a pool table today, you probably think of an image like this. But in reality, for many homes at the time, it was more like this. Slightly less cramped than your average clown car. Therefore, homes that had a pool or billiards table normally used it as a dining table as well, covering it up with a cloth because they simply didn't have enough room for both. This tight space also meant that sometimes shots would be harder to make, as you had little to no room for your backswing. So for one of the most important shots in the game, that being the break or first shot, you would align the pool table like this, so that one end of it is near the kitchen door. That way, the player had plenty of room. As a result, the player would be at least somewhat, if not entirely, in the kitchen when taking their shot. Thus, the name kitchen began to apply to this area where someone could stand and shoot without fear of hitting the walls with their stick or getting creative with positioning. The term's prominence also makes sense as when you scratch, the other player gets to place the cue ball anywhere they would like in the kitchen. Scratching in pool, if you are unaware, is hitting the white ball or cue ball into any pocket. So shots from the kitchen, especially in amateur games, are quite common, likely helping to lift the term into the zeitgeist of pool players the world over. This has been Short Answer Long Answer. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more, and be sure to leave your suggestions for what you want me to cover down below. Be sure to check back here on Saturday for my next episode of On Geek, and I will see you guys back here on Wednesday for another episode of this. Until then, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and stay awesome.